A man walks into a bar with a slab of asphalt under his arm. He says, I'll take a beer and one for the road. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back with another beer review. Did you know John Lennon's first girlfriend's name Thelma Pickles. What a wild name that is. Anyways, we got this beer here. Check it out, check it out. It's, I have no idea how to read this damn thing. Achtet Othin Filla Rotch Beer. I don't know. Bamberg. Heller Bamberg. One pint. Original shark I don't know. Product of Germany. It's a German beer, but I don't know. Uh, it's 5.2% alcohol, so that's about like a uh, Budweiser is 5.0, and you light beers around 4, 4.2 or something like that. This is 5.2, so that ain't bad at all. Go to smokebeer.com, and um, they have a lot of stuff in here I cannot read because it's too much damn to read. I ain't reading all this. But, uh, I bought this the other day, and uh, I got it for $5.03 for this bottle. And I actually bought a bottle of... Uh, something else. I can't remember what the hell I'm name for this. Anyway, it was 10 bucks. And it has a, it, it's really, it's like 14%. So that's, bam, it's a kick in the ass right there. But we're drinking this one. I like the cap on that. It looks pretty cool. I like that label. That looks pretty cool too. Check that label out. You see that label right there? That's pretty cool. Anyway. Ah, yeah, yeah. Nothing on the inside of the cap, but that's a nice, uh, it's a nice cap. Hey, check these out. Is here a wrench for opening up bottles. Yeah, you can get them at Lowe's really cheap for a buck, I think it is. But I got this in for like eight, six or eight. It's Craftsman. You can buy it at Heritage, anyways. Uh, you know, cold. Oh, wait. Hot water is heavier than cold. Wait, let me know. I'm going to have to try that sometime. Is it really hotter than. Hell, I don't know. A product of Germany. I like German beers, they taste really good. And, um,. You see, this is a pint glass. See, you know, look at that. You ain't gonna get these glasses in a bar and serve in pints. No, you won't. Look at that. It's a nice, it has like a reddish hint to it. And it's like a nice dark, not dark as a Guinness. It's, it, it's that, I would say it's like a brown ale. I don't know, it's a brown ale. You know, like a piece of paper here. Um, yeah. A little smell here. Not much of a head on it. Well, I smell, I smell the smokiness in there. It's like someone dropped a log in there. Not not a turd, a log, like a fire log or something. Yeah. Whew. What the hell? That's smoky. That's very smoky. Wow. Very uh, a smoky bite. Better. I don't know what the hell year. Wow! It's like someone built a fire in there. Blondes have more hair than dark-haired people. It's like someone put a fire in that damn thing. Original Shining Name considered a classic example of its uh, following the most ancient malting traditions. You ain't kidding. All I had back then is fire and stones. All its select barley malts and kiln over a fire of beechwood logs at the Sri Lanka maltings, brewed in classic copper vessels and matured for months in historic cellars. Oh, no wonder smokebeer.com. I'm not drinking this whole thing. No, no, I can't drink it all. It's too smoky. It's too, just, it's 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 not too thick of a beer. It, uh, the number four in Japan is considered to be unlucky because it's pronounced the same way as death. I can't drink this. I'm gonna have to dump it out because I am not drinking this beer. This is just whoa. I can handle some beers now. This 
is just too much, this will freaking kill you. Now, it, it takes more of a man to drink that than me. That is not, no way, huh? The country code for Russia, take a guess, 007. Look at that, Jack. Yeah, this beer, if if you, it's basically five bucks, uh, uh, well, I got the bottle, but five bucks pissed away because I'm not drinking the rest of that. And um, jumbo jets, they take, they use 4,000 gallons of fuel to take off. Now, if you're like an environmentalist, do you fly knowing that? Can you fly knowing that? That's a lot of freaking, that's a lot of gallons, man. 4,000 gallons just on takeoff? Oh, I heard something about the Queen Elizabeth, the, the, the ship. It, it used, how many gallons does it go for like, like a thousand gallons for four inches or something like that? I don't know. Where the hell are you gonna keep all, that's a lot of fuel. I don't know, that's stupid. What else we got here? Only females mosquitoes, female mosquitoes bite. No, what do you expect? Female? Oh. Anyways, that's just horrible. I think that's all I got on my little piece of paper here for you. That's all I got. Yeah. No, I got one more on there. But I'm going to give this one more sip. Maybe it changed in a couple of seconds. I doubt it. No. <coughs> that's just too... Too smoky for me, man. If you ever tried this, let me know how you thought. If you could finish off a beer, you can come over to my house and get this right now before I dump it out. But it's horrible. Elephants only sleep two hours a day. What the hell are they doing the rest of the day? Jigsaw puzzles. That's why they're so good at them. But um, this is a horrible beer. I don't like it. If you like smoke, I love German beers. This is the first German beer I cannot drink. And I've had a lot of them. So. That being said, I think that's about it, folks. I'm done with this beer review. This is just, oh, I give this one, on a scale of one to five, I give it a one. Uh, it's, it's, I like bitter beers, but this is like the bitter, it's it's very bad. I, don't, I can't drink this at all. So I'm gonna give some to Spot. She, she might like it. She liked the smoky beer before, so she might like that. So uh, it's about it, folks. I'm done. Thanks for watching.